Hello, today we're going to be making a throwing game in Scratch in contrast to the catching game. So let's start by going into our web browser and going to Scratch, create, and then so we, click, we right click on the cat and duplicate it and then we go to the choose the sprite library and get the apple so now we put a cat drag the cat to the top of the screen and one cat to the bottom because this is a two player game one player will be moving the cat at the top trying to catch the apple that is thrown by the cat at the bottom so if you would like to play this with your friends or family or anybody then that would be great since it is a two player game so now just click on sprite 2 then go to events get the when space key pressed block place it down and change that to right arrow so now go to sensing and get the key space pressed and then both these blocks they cannot be connected so if, but to make now we go to control and get repeat until join it underneath when right arrow key pressed and then go to operators and get the not block and put it inside the repeat until now get the key space pressed block put it inside the knot and change that to right arrow now we go to motion and get the change x by 10 block one now we place it down inside let's test it out there we go now we right click on all these and duplicate there we go now change them all to left arrow and make the change x by 10 to minus 10 there we go as you may have seen in the catching game video it is steps so it's basically the same thing so move 10 steps and change x by 10 it's exactly the same thing so it doesn't matter which block you use so now if we try it out we can move our cat in both directions great now we go to the click on the sprite one and go to events get again when space key pressed and then let's just make this a little quick don't you think uh, that was quick so you have to do the same process as sprite two but change it to a and d since mostly people use w a s d on the keyboard so a for right and d, a for left and d for right is pretty common you of course you can change it to whatever you prefer but i'm going to go with a and d so now we have to make sprite one throw the apple so now we go to sprite 2 and then click on events and get the when space key pressed you can change it to whatever you want but i'm gonna keep it to up arrow since like your the apple goes up so i guess that makes sense but now we go to broadcast message one when we click on new message and change it to throw apple great so now we go to apple and get the when i receive throw apple block and then we go to motion and get the go to random position block and change it to sprite one Let's see. Now that's sprite one, so we change it to sprite two. So to make things easier, let's just name these player one and player two. So the top one 
is player two and the bottom one is player one there we go now that's easier player one so now after that we get the change y by 10 block go to control get the repeat until block go to sensing and get the touching mouse pointer block and also get another one of that then we go to operators and get the or block so now we put repeat until underneath the go to player one block then we put the all block in the middle there and now we put both touching mouse pointer blocks inside we change them to player two and edge and we put change y by 10 inside so that means that when it receives the throw apple signal it will go to the cat at the bottom and then it will be going straight up until it touches player two or the edge so let's try this out move and then throw see that looks interesting doesn't it so now we got to add a show block underneath here i mean there show and then we put hide there so now let's try it it goes up then disappears that's much better and now we get the when green flag clipped block put the go to looks and get the hide block put it there and then it will be invisible until we throw it good so now we need to add a point system so go to player 2 go to variables right click on my variable delete the my variable variable then go to make a variable for all sprites and then write down points there we go there it is let's just move it to the middle so now what let's go to events no yeah so now we go to when green flag clicked get that get the control forever and then we get inside the we put inside the if then block then we go to sensing and get the touching mouse pointer block and then change that to apple now we go to variables and get the change points by one block we go back to events get another one green flag clip block and get the set points to zero block so now let's try this out player one is moving throw there that should do it but make sure that before you start the game always click the green flag to make sure that it is active okay thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and like this video bye